I may be overloaded at this point. Close, but not quite. All right, CRS week here in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, we're setting up in a hotel conference room to get a bunch of interviews with uh, country people from um, all over who are coming up on country radio. And that's, that's what the whole gag is. So this is our set. Uh, we just got in, things are looking built, and we're getting ready to light the place. And here we are, all lit up. Looking pretty good. Um, we got about eight lighting instruments kind of all around, uh, FX6 and FX9, um, using the Pavo tubes as backlights and little curtain lights. I got them stuck back behind these plants to kind of give some give some texture to the curtain uh, as looking um, not, not totally, just kind of disinteresting. Um, each guest and host seat have uh, another light on them as well to kind of fill in. Uh, a lot of these guys were wearing hats, so we needed some light to get underneath the hat. Here's the FX9 shot um, on our first subject. Uh, shooting as open as I can get on the zoom lens, um, and eventually we trade that out for a prime. Um, but uh, I wanted to kind of get the feel of how this was going to go first. Uh, and this is the FX6 uh, wider shot here to see both guest and host. Um, uh, room is lit with the uh, Amaran 200X on a uh, uh, the, the China Ball style uh, lighting instrument. Um, and then we've got the Amaran panel on the guest and the... Um, it's the the 300 watt uh, with the the reflector going through uh, to light up the host and uh, and kind of fill in a bit. Um, ultimately, I thought it looked pretty good. One other thing we did was we switched the angles a little bit. Um, we wanted to kind of get more straight on with the guest uh, and use and use the wood background for their shot. So we twisted the the set a little bit, not the set really, but just the positioning of the cameras. Um, so now the A cam that sees the guest is looking kind of straight at them. We see the wood, we see the plant behind them and stuff like that. And then for the two shot, it uh, sees more into the corner uh, where the wood and the curtain meet. Um, and that, that just provided, uh, everybody seemed a little happier with that. And uh, ultimately it didn't change too much stuff for me, so I was happy to do it. Uh, we changed we changed up the flowers a little bit. It was looking a little bit like a funeral home in there, uh, just with the way that they had brought in the flowers and, and which flowers they had brought. So we switched things up a little bit, and uh, the result made everybody a lot more happy. Uh, I got to work with a bunch of like luminaries in the country music scene, uh, a bunch of up-and-comers uh, that are doing very well. Um, these guys are not up-and-comers, but uh, still... Um, promoting their stuff on country radio and and getting the opportunity to, to uh, speak whenever whenever they can. So uh, we got to work with a ton of people and uh, it was pretty cool. So after we got into the rhythm and I kind of figured out exactly how this was going to go, I switched over to the 85 mil uh, prime for the FX9 for our guest, um, and then the 35 uh, for the 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 two shot. Um, didn't shoot wide open, but wanted to kind of pull a bit more depth. I was shooting at f4 on the zooms and wanted to just get a little bit more to separate the. Um, the people from their backgrounds, and uh, and that worked out pretty well. Uh, didn't change things up too much. Uh, got the got the lighting to to balance back to where it was with the f4 lenses, but now we're just uh, having a little bit more depth of field uh, out of focus area, and um, uh, I thought it looked pretty good. I, I was happy with that change.
here's kind of the the ultimate wide shot sees everybody there's my audio operator phil uh enjoying the interview this uh this lady was a hoot and that's a wrap 30 interviews later uh, this was a two-day job. Um, I was able to load out anything that I wasn't using uh, the day uh, on the end of day one. So, so that's why I was able to fit everything onto the cart this time around. Cool shoot. Had a lot of fun. But uh, now it's time to hang out with the puppy. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you all next time.